Hello, my friend. How you doing? I hope you're doing well, depending on wherever you're watching me from. Perhaps it's evening for you or morning. It does not matter. I've got a word for you. And I believe that when there's a word from God, it will hit you in the morning and it will slap you in the evening. So it does not matter. In Daniel chapter 10, this is a very powerful story we see in Daniel chapter 10, where the angel Gabriel, this mighty angel, who's known for bringing divine prophetic messages to people like Mary, and Daniel, he appears to Daniel in the 10th chapter of Daniel and he says greetings and he begins to speak to Daniel concerning what had happened in the spiritual realm and the delay that took place. He gives an explanation for things that had happened. And when he appeared to Daniel, the Bible says that Daniel was already weak for fasting for 21 days because the angel appeared after the fast on the 24th day. But when the angel appeared, not only was Daniel weak, but because the angel was so strong, because the angel carried such a mighty presence of the Holy Ghost, such a mighty presence of Jesus, such a mighty presence of God. The Bible says that Daniel falls flat on his face uh, and he was extremely weak. Uh, but, there's, but there's something I love in this chapter of Daniel chapter 10, specifically in the 19th verse. Ten, uh, Daniel 10, 19 says that, that Daniel himself actually says, he says, as the angel Gabriel spoke to me, I became strong. He said, the more he spoke to me, the stronger I got. There's another translation, I believe it's the NIV that says, as he spoke to me, I became stronger. I love that because as I was studying and doing my devotional, the Holy Ghost told me, he said, this is the power of the word of God. Mm. He said, this is the power of the word of God. The Bible says the faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith is the strong substance that we operate in, in the kingdom of God. There is nothing you can do in the kingdom without faith. And so God says this faith comes by what we hear. And the Bible says that as Gabriel spoke to Daniel, though he was fatigued, though he was tired for 21 days of fasting, he became stronger. Though he was weak, his physical body was weak because there was a spiritual being in his, in his room, a spiritual being in his home, in spite of this fatigue and the strength that he had lost, the more the angel spoke to him, the stronger he got. God says the more of the words you hear, the stronger you're going to get. But that's not my climax because we know a whole lot of people get hopeful on Sunday morning because of what they hear. Faith comes by hearing. We know a whole lot of people get stronger on Sunday morning or, so, or, or, or Wednesday night Bible study because of what they hear. But the problem today is throughout the week, you are not strong. Throughout the week, you've got many depressions. Throughout the week, you're depressed. Throughout the week, you, you're throwing in the towel. You're doubting. You're cursing God and, 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 and you're cursing God to his face you're saying what's going on with my life and God says why is it that my people are stronger on Sunday Sunday morning but throughout the week they're extremely weak God says this is because they do not hear the word during the week they hear it on Sunday morning but not during the week I want to quickly encourage you to use your weeks to read the Bible. If faith comes by hearing the word of God, then surely faith can come by reading the word of God. You missed what I said. If faith can come by hearing this word, then surely faith can come by reading this word. I'm going to tell you that the more you hear, the stronger you get. The more you read, the stronger you get. But if you do not read during the week, if you do not, if you do not soak in the word of God, the weaker you're going to get. This is more than just a book. This is more than just, in fact, a testament. This is a powerful prophetic book that will speak to you in your current circumstance. And God says, the more of this you swallow within, the more of this will swallow you. The more you read the Bible, the more the Bible is going to read you. Because this is the word and the word is Jesus. So the more of this you read, the more of Jesus you begin to consistently grab in your life. So I just want to quickly encourage you this week to take some time to get in the word. To take some time to soak in the word. May God bless you. This is Prophet Aldi Asanjo and I'll see you very soon.